And on President Obama's new health care law, a former president who likes and supports it has nonetheless now joined the chorus of people pushing the president to keep his promise for all those Americans who like their health insurance who want to keep it. We get more on this topic tonight from NBC's Peter Alexander at the White House. The White House has touted him as its explainer in chief, but while defending the health care law during a new interview, former President Bill Clinton urged President Obama to make good on his promise and let anyone who wants to keep their current insurance plan. I personally believe, even if it takes a change in the law, the president should honor the commitment the federal government made to those people and let them keep what they got. This afternoon, the White House said President Obama agrees with Clinton. The president has tasked his team with... Uh, looking at a range of options. According to Jay Carney, the goal is to make sure those who got cancellation letters can afford a better plan. It's no easy task, according to Jonathan Gruber, an architect of both Romneycare, Massachusetts health reform law, and Obamacare. The key goal of this law is to allow everyone to buy insurance at one common fair price. If you allow some people to jump out of the system and keep their old policies at a cheaper price, it puts the fundamental goals of the law at risk. In California, after his plan was canceled, Gary King reluctantly enrolled in Obamacare, signing up for a new policy that will cost him $70 more each month. And I find that having to pay more money for coverage that's not really as good for me is pretty disappointing. But as far as getting the insurance under the California exchange, it was easy enough once you figure out how to do it. But King's the exception. Early reports show in the first six weeks since enrollment opened, only 110,000 Americans signed up. 60,000 through most of the state exchanges, fewer than 50,000 more in the federal marketplace, according to the Wall Street Journal, far shy of the reported target for October, 500,000, and well off the pace to meet the government's projection of 7 million by the end of March. Administration officials say they won't confirm enrollment numbers until later this week, but insist they've always expected the first round would be low. Tonight, administration officials say the website is getting better each week, so much so, Brian, that beginning today, they're actually sending out 275,000 emails in waves, encouraging people who had problems with the website to try again. Peter Alexander at the White House for us tonight. Peter, thanks.